Hi, this is Juan with Cure UV, and today we're going to be showing you the UV LED curing chamber. Now this comes in a variety of wavelengths, 365 nanometers, 385, 395, 405, and even 470 nanometers. It also comes in a variety of sizes. This one is 150 millimeters by 150 millimeter curing area on the inside, and it's one of the smallest ones. Uh, they go as large as 500 by 400. Now if you need bigger than that, we can customize it. It just adds a few weeks to it. Finally, this is a single irradiator model. If you see on the inside, it just has one irradiator at the top with the LED. Um, you can also get them with up to three, you know, one on the left, one on the right, and one on the top. Finally, this is a single door model. You can have a dual door model and even a rotating tray. As far as power, you just have to let us know essentially what your max intensity is, and we can accommodate for that. If they get past a certain power level, they do become water-cooled and you need an additional chiller. This one is air-cooled, the vast majority of them are. Now, having said that, even though they can change so much, the basic functionality is the same. So I'm gonna be going over the basic functionality so that hopefully you can use these with no problems. Now, turning the system on is pretty easy. It plugs right into a 120 volt outlet. If you're in Europe or South America or Asia and you need 220 volts, please let us know. We can accommodate. You know, once you, you're, you've plugged it in, turn on the breaker and you're good to go. If for whatever reason you want the, the optional pedal, which is probably unnecessary, but definitely available. Now you see it has a little notch here. You make sure the notch is at the top, plug it in, screw it on, and you are good to go. So now I'm gonna show you how to use this system. Um, it is a little bit counterintuitive, but you get used to it pretty quickly. First, let's go over the monitoring system. This is LED power, and this is as a percentage. So from 1% to 100%. Current time it's been running, total number of pieces you've run this session, and the LED temperature. Now it does have, you know, its own thermal controls, and it, this, this unit, there's water-cooled and there's air-cooled. This is an air-cooled system, um, so it, it, but this is just kind of as a, as a good guide. Now, there are two basic ways to run it. First, well, first let's go. To, to modify that, you go to parameters. The default password is 666888. No meaning in that, just what the factory does. And then there's two ways to run it, either automatic or manual. Now, automatic is so that you can run it with a timer. So let's leave it on that. Make sure automatic is green. And then you set the amount of time you want. So I'm going to go to irradiation time. I'm going to make it eight seconds. At 15%, I'm going to make it 10%. It's a very powerful system. Boom, LED power and irradiation time. I wouldn't mess with the alarm temperature. 65 degrees Celsius is correct. And I wouldn't mess with the fan delay. Um, we leave it at 30 seconds so that it runs, the fans run 30 seconds after you've turned it off for better thermal control. All right. Now let's go back and when you want to start it, it's an auto. You simply open, put your substrate in, close it. It'll automatically turn on and it'll run for the amount of time you set. Now it turned off on the timer and the fan keeps on running as I said. Now, if you want to run it with the pedal, again, every time you change these parameters, you do have to enter the password. So function, automatic, and I want to use the pedal. So automatic green, pedal green. That means I can turn it on with the pedal and then it'll run its cycle. Of course, if you ever need to turn it off before the cycles run, you just open it and it'll turn off automatically. Um, that's just a safety mechanism. So I put my substrate in and I press the pedal and it turns on and it'll run for its eight seconds. Finally, if you want to run it manual, but start it with the pedal, same basic premise. You go to function, manual mode, green, pedal, green, and then put your substrate in, start it with the pedal. The pedal is only to start it, not to turn it off. 
it won't turn it off. If you need to turn it off, you just hit stop. And now this won't run with the timer. This will run as long as you want it to on manual mode until you hit stop. Well, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.